Well again, Cruel the Beer Man, but uh, today I'm the Autograph Man. Uh, today I want to show you some of the, this is a response to the uh, video with Really Big D. He said, show me your swag. All right, here we go. I have a huge extensive collection of autographs from various drivers here. We got Tony Stewart here. We got this special limited edition NASCAR modified. He ran a race at a Swiggo. He signed like, oh, uh, let's see how many. He signed 3,000 of these, and I got one of them, so we have that. These are some autographs I picked up from testing session. This is autographed by Paul Menard. Here we have Rusty Wallace. We have Clint Boyer here, had that signed. And these are just some inserts that I got from a card, from a collection of cards. We have John Wood there. We have Carl Edwards. We have Daytona 500 winner Sterling Marlin, and then we have this guy here, Eric Darnell. His career didn't really pan out too well. Over here we have one of the latest autographs. Uh, we have the whole 2013 Team Corvette team signed this whole hat at an autograph session at 12 Hours of Sebring. Over here we got some more here. We got this Daytona flag here signed by various drivers. We have Carl Edwards there again. We have Denny Hamlin. We have Bill Elliott there. We have uh, Ron Hornaday. Uh, we have David Gilland, Kyle Busch, um, I've got Kale Gale, I think, there, and we got Casey Mears in there. So we have a nice, oh, Stephen Wallace there, and uh, who else do I have on there? Oh, yes, Ward Burton, another Daytona 500 winner. Here's another Daytona 500 winner I have here. We have Kevin Harvick. I had him sign this hat. I waited all day at a testing session for him to sign that, and then... Last but not least, we have Dale Earnhardt Jr. He signed this hat here. Um, but th this flag was too small, so I figured the next year I went to Daytona for testing, I decided to get a bigger flag if I was going to fill it up with more autographs here. So we got some good ones here. Uh, there's some ones you probably haven't heard of that are on here, but here's an extensive one on here. And next time I go to Daytona, I'm going to have more drivers sign it. You know, it's just, I got plenty of room on here. We have Dale Earnhardt Jr. right there. I got this like right after he was done with the testing session and he signed it. I had people come up to me and say, that was the biggest signature. And I said, yeah, it is. Um, waited all day for that and I thanked him for it and that was nice. Uh, we got uh, Dale Jarrett here. Now these two autographs here I got at North Wilkesboro. We got Harry Gant there. We got one of the greatest crew chiefs of all time, Waddle Wilson there. We also have an Indianapolis 500 winner on there. We have a we have a Dario Franchitti autograph right there. So yeah, there's some some drivers, some no names, but there's some there's some good ones on that flag. And I'm probably going to add more next time I go to Daytona if I ever do. All right, and then I got this. This is a special limited edition uh, Audi racing poster that was handed out at 12 hours of Sebring like just before one of the autograph sessions I stood in line for over an hour and I think I did pretty good I got Alan McNish one of their top one of team Audi's top drivers to sign this poster here uh, it was just like right when he was leaving because the session was over and he had some other obligations. I also have a special uh, 12 Hours of Sebring poster here. I think I've shown it in some previous videos here, but got a lot of signatures on there. Got one of the some of the Corvette drivers there. We got uh, Tommy Milner there, and we got Bornhauer there. He's the French guy. He dresses for a French team. And I got Michael Waltrip on there. Yeah, there he is right there. Got several other ones there. But yeah, that's that's what I have here. I'll show you some more also. These are probably my most sought after autographs right here. We have the King, Richard Petty, and we have the late great you know, the guy who drove that black number three car, Dale Earnhardt. I actually had him sign this. Uh, back in I think 98 or 99 I wrote him a letter and I told him I don't care how long it takes just please send it back signed and sure enough he sent it back signed uh, this is a very special card to me he's one of my favorite all-time drivers and I feel very fortunate I was able to uh, have some kind of interaction with uh, the Intimidator before we lost him. I, I'm such a huge racing fanatic. I drove up to, to uh, the Charlotte area to go check out the race shops. And as I was walking in, um, team owner uh, Joe Gibbs walked right in and uh, he started signing books. And he gave me this book here. He even personalized it to me. 
And uh, yeah, he signed it, gave me the book. He sa I said, you don't have to give me the book. He says, no, I want you to have it. So he did. He, he was nice enough to give me this book. And he signed it, and he gave it to me. So that was probably the coolest thing I've ever had happen. <laughs> All right, we're going to go through my uh, hero card collection here. We've got Michael Waltrip here in the Country Time car. Got Pat Abold here, super modified. Used to run at the Swiggle Speedway. I used to go to the races a lot there. Uh, we got Dick Trickle. Got Mike Skinner. Got an autograph there. Of course, we have the Intimidator there back when he was a five time champion. As you know, he's a seven time. We got Jeff Gordon there. Another Earnhardt. Another super modified there. Earnhardt. This is an old one. Alright, here's some more autographs here. We got Timmy Nelson. He was a super modified driver at the Swiggo Speedway. This one is a special one. This is Tim McCready. He's a dirt driver. I got him at his first win, and I even dated it. We got Ken Schrader there. Uh, we got a special autograph right here, Joe Gozik. He was one of my favorite drivers growing up at the Swiggo Speedway. And uh, there was a teacher who's who was the in-law, you know, of... Uh, mother-in-law of Gozik and found out that I was a race fan and uh, was able to give me this one here. <laughs> got it at graduation actually. She just gave it to me. She said to Chris, Joel Gozik. Got some more right here. Jack Johnson. He's a local legend. Tim Fuller, Billy Decker, Danny Johnson, Alan Johnson, one of the winningest modified drivers, which is what these cars are here. And for those of you that are in the 40 ounce crew, um, my name in there is Barefoot Nine Troyer. Well, here's the Barefoot Nine Troyer right here. This is uh, Barefoot Bob McCready here, and this is the number nine Troyer car, which is what the name means there. There's his son, Tim McCready. Here's, here's Barefoot Bob there again, number nine Troyer. And we got an autograph there, Jeff Wood. Jeff West there, excuse me. All right, now we get into some NASCAR ones. Parker Clinging, I got this one at uh, Penske Racing. Got Justin Elgar. Bert Myers, another modified driver. We got his brother, Jason Myers. Got it at a race. Yep, there's his autograph there. Chase Elliott, this is Bill Elliott's uh, son. And we got uh, Michael Waltrip here and his race team here. He ran at 12 hours of Sebring in a sports car, was not running NASCAR. So I thought that was pretty cool. Had some more. Uh, of hours of Sebring stuff there, somewhere there. Oh, and just when you thought I was done, I have more. And these are some more, uh, I got some sports, this is the, the special sports car um, section here. Just all sports cars and Indy cars. I got the Corvette team there. I got another, this is the next year I went. These are like all the three years I've been to the 12 hours of Sebring, they were handing these out. This is the latest one, I like this one the most. This is after they won the championship in the ALMS series at Jaguar Racing there. Um, Ray, Ray Hall, Bobby Ray Hall and David Letterman actually own this BMW team here. Um, and I got their autographs there. This was from this past year here at Sebring. You got a Porsche Cup driver there, got his autograph there. I thought this car was pretty cool. This is a Hertz car. I love that paint scheme. I love that. Here we have the Delta Wing. This car didn't do so well. It actually caught fire like 10 laps into the race, but I got the signatures of the drivers. Wolf Hensler. Yep, got the signature there. We got the uh, Team Rebellion. We got some drivers there. The signatures there. And we got their second car there. Nicholas Prost. That is actually Elon Prost's son, I believe. And Nick Heinfeld, he actually ran F1 for a bit. And we got some good ones right here. We got Dyson Racing, uh, Butch Leitzinger, great sports car driver signed this here. That's a good team. This one was a very interesting one. We had um, Ryan Hunter Ray and Ryan Briscoe here. Those are two Indy car drivers. Um, I actually wished them luck, and he said thanks. And you know, I got their signatures there. Got some more here. Some Porsche crew here there. Uh, the 007 racing team, the Eston Martin team there. I always like it when some of these teams uh, will have like these long posters that are large enough for them to sign, also to display it. This is the 908 Peugeot. This was probably their last year running at Le Mans that I got. 
and uh, you know at 12 hours of Sebring that's where I go to the races a lot and then here we got the uh, Patron car here sorry I'm getting a little reflection here that's better there we have the tequila Patron car that I got this past year at Sebring this one by Scott Sharp this is all the team drivers that I had signed all of them all right the uh, Corvette poster I just got this year uh, along with the hat I was able to get the poster but yeah there's a, these are all the uh, Corvette drivers there they won the GT series in uh, the American Le Mans series there you see that's all of them there we have Jan Magison there we have Antonio Garcia there we have who's that Oliver Gavin we have Tommy Milner I got his signature again we have Richard Westbrook, and we have new driver, I forgot this guy's name, Jordan Taylor there. We got Jordan Taylor there. Then last year, I got all the Audi drivers, and I got every single one of them except Bornhauer. He wasn't there because he had to run a race over in Europe. But these three drivers right here are probably the greatest probably that have ever raced for Audi. Here we have Alan McNish there. Mr. Lamar, Tom Christensen, he has the most wins at the 24 Hours of Le Mans with different teams. And then we have retired driver Dito Caparelli. He actually did run a little bit of Formula One, but didn't have much success. But he had a lot of success in Le Mans. And these three drivers here have won Le Mans before. These three right here, this guy, this guy, and this guy won last year's Le Mans. So I have that. So I'm glad I have that. Uh, it's funny because one of my friends, he was like freaking out. He's like saying, are these autographs going to be worth it? I said, yeah. I said, these guys are the best in the world. And sure enough, they went on and won the race. And he was glad he stood in line for an hour. I was glad I stood in line for an hour because it's not every day these guys run in the United States. So I feel pretty grateful to get that. And that's pretty much all I have, man. I got more autographs probably on the way. And, uh, you know, whenever I go to races, I try to go to the autograph sessions. I take advantage of that. And, uh, yeah, it's just getting a part of racing, man. You know, if you like the sport enough, you know, you want to get a piece of it. So that's what I got. So, yeah, enjoy. Talk to you all later.